Nebraska is a state that lies in both the Great Plains and the Midwestern United States. Its state capital is Lincoln. Its largest city is Omaha, which is on the Missouri River. The state is crossed by many historic trails, but it was the California Gold Rush that first brought large numbers of non-indigenous settlers to the area. Nebraska became a state in 1867. There are wide variations between winter and summer temperatures, and violent thunderstorms and tornadoes are common. The state is characterized by treeless prairie, ideal for cattle grazing, and it is a major producer of beef, as well as pork, corn, and soybeans. Ethnically, the largest group of Nebraskans are German-American. The state also has the largest per capita population of Czech Americans among U.S. states. Etymology Nebraska gets its name from the archaic Oto words Abra SGE, pronounced, E squared a copyright B three quarters A G O Oak, or the Omaha Na B T H A Scar, pronounced, Na copyright B paragraph R so meaning flat water, after the Platte River that flows through the state. History Varying cultures of indigenous peoples lived in the region along the rivers for thousands of years before European exploration. Historical Native American tribes living in Nebraska have included the Omaha, Missouri, Ponca, Pawnee, Oto, and various branches of the Lakota. Long before the Lewis and Clark expedition of 1804 Euro 1806, French Canadian explorers traversed the territory of Nebraska on their way to trade in Santa Fe, then claimed by Spain. In 1819, the United States established Fort Atkinson as the first U.S. Army post west of the Missouri River, just east of present-day Fort Calhoun. The Army abandoned the fort in 1827 as migration moved further west. European-American settlement did not begin in any numbers until after 1848 and the California Gold Rush. On May 30, 1854, the U.S. Congress created the Kansas and the Nebraska Territories, divided by the parallel 40 degree north, under the Kansas-Nebraska Act. The Nebraska Territory included parts of the current states of Colorado, North Dakota, South Dakota, Wyoming, and Montana. The territorial capital of Nebraska was Omaha. In the 1860s, after the U.S. government forced many of the Native American tribes to cede their lands and settle on reservations, it opened large tracts of land to agricultural development by Europeans and Americans. Under the Homestead Act, thousands of new settlers migrated into Nebraska to claim free land granted by the federal government. Because so few trees grew on the prairies, many of the first farming settlers built their homes of sod, as had the Native Americans such as the Omaha. The first wave of settlement gave the territory a sufficient population to apply for statehood. Nebraska became the 37th state on March 1, 1867, and the capital was moved from Omaha to the center at Lancaster, later renamed Lincoln after the recently assassinated President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln. The Battle of Massacre Canyon on August 5, 1873, was the last major battle between the Pawnee and the Sioux. During the 1870s to the 1880s, Nebraska experienced a large growth in population. Several factors contributed to attracting new residents. The first was that the vast prairie land was perfect for cattle grazing. This helped settlers to learn the unfamiliar geography of the area. The second factor was the invention of several farming technologies. Agricultural inventions such as barbed wire, windmills, and the steel plow, combined with good weather, enabled settlers to make use of Nebraska as prime farming land. By the 1880s, Nebraska's population had soared to more than 450,000 people. The Arbor Day holiday was founded in Nebraska City by Territorial Governor J. Sterling Morton. The National Arbor Day Foundation is still headquartered in Nebraska City, with some offices in Lincoln. In the late 19th century, many African Americans migrated from the South to Nebraska as part of the Great Migration, primarily to Omaha which offered working-class jobs in meatpacking the railroads and other industries. Omaha has a long history of civil rights activism. Blacks encountered discrimination from other Americans in Omaha and especially from recent European immigrants, ethnic whites who were competing for the same jobs. 
In 1912 African Americans founded the Omaha chapter of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People to work for improved conditions in the city and state. Activism has continued. Since the 1960s, Native American activism in the state has increased, both through open protest, activities to build alliances with state and local governments, and in the slower, more extensive work of building tribal institutions and infrastructure. Native Americans in federally recognized tribes have pressed for self-determination, sovereignty and recognition. They have created community schools to preserve their cultures, as well as tribal colleges and universities. Tribal politicians have also collaborated with state and county officials on regional issues. Geography The state is bordered by South Dakota to the north, Iowa to the east and Missouri to the southeast, across the Missouri River. Kansas to the south, Colorado to the southwest, and Wyoming to the west. The state has 93 counties. It occupies the central portion of the frontier strip. Nebraska is split into two time zones. The central time zone comprises the eastern half of the state, while the western half observes mountain time. Three rivers cross the state from west to east. The Platte River, formed by the confluence of the North Platte and the South Platte, runs through the central portion of the state, the Niobrara River flows through the northern part, and the Republican River runs across the southern part. Nebraska is composed of two major land regions, the dissected Till Plains and the Great Plains. The easternmost portion of the state was scoured by Ice Age glaciers. The dissected Till Plains were left behind after the glaciers retreated. The dissected Till Plains is a region of gently rolling hills. Omaha and Lincoln are in this region. The Great Plains occupy the majority of western Nebraska. The Great Plains region consists of several smaller, diverse land regions, including the Sand Hills, the Pine Ridge, the Rainwater Basin, the High Plains and the Wildcat Hills. Panorama Point, at 5,424 feet, is the highest point in Nebraska. Despite its name and elevation, it is a relatively low rise near the Colorado and Wyoming borders. A past Nebraska tourism slogan was, Where the West Begins. Locations given for the beginning of the West include the Missouri River, the intersection of 13th and O Streets in Lincoln, the 100th Meridian, and Chimney Rock. Nebraska is a triply landlocked state, as it does not border the ocean, nor do any of the states it borders nor any that they border. Federal land management, areas under the management of the National Park Service include, Agate Fossil Beds National Monument near Harrison, California National Historic Trail, Chimney Rock National Historic Site near Bayard, Homestead National Monument of America in Beatrice, Lewis and Clark National Historic Trail, Missouri National Recreational River near Ponca, Mormon Pioneer National Historic Trail, Niobrara National Scenic River near Valentine, Oregon National Historic Trail, Pony Express National Historic Trail, Scotts Bluff National Monument at Gearing, areas under the management of the National Forest Service include, Nebraska National Forest, Iglala National Grassland, Samuel A. McElvey National Forest, Climate. Two major climatic zones are represented in Nebraska, the eastern half of the state has a humid continental climate, and the western half, a semi-arid climate. The entire state experiences wide seasonal variations in temperature and precipitation. Average temperatures are fairly uniform across Nebraska, with hot summers and generally cold winters. Average annual precipitation decreases east to west from about 31.5 inches in the southeast corner of the state to about 13.8 inches in the Panhandle. Humidity also decreases significantly from east to west. Snowfall across the state is fairly even, with most of Nebraska receiving between 25 and 35 inches of snow annually. Nebraska's highest recorded temperature is 118 AA degree Fahrenheit at Minden on July 24, 1936 and the lowest recorded temperature is a 47 AA degree Fahrenheit at Camp Clark on February 12, 1899. Nebraska is in Tornado Alley. Thunderstorms are common in the spring and summer months, and violent thunderstorms and tornadoes happen primarily during the spring and summer, though they can also occur in the autumn. 
the Chinook winds from the Rocky Mountains provide a temporary moderating effect on temperatures in western Nebraska during the winter months. Demographics The United States Census Bureau estimates that the population of Nebraska was 1,868,516 on July 1, 2013 a 2.3 percent increase since the 2010 United States Census. The center of population of Nebraska is in Polk County, in the city of Shelby. Race and ethnicity, according to the 2010 Census, 86.1 percent of the population was white, 4.5 percent was black or African American, 1.0 percent American Indian and Alaska Native, 1.8 percent Asian, 0.1% native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander, 2.2% from two or more races. 9.2% of the total population was of Hispanic or Latino origin. As of 2004, the population of Nebraska included about 84,000 foreign-born residents. The five largest ancestry groups in Nebraska are German, Irish, English, Mexican, and Czech. Nebraska has the largest Czech American and non Mormon Danish American population in the nation. German Americans are the largest ancestry group in most of the state, particularly in the eastern counties. Thurston County has an American Indian majority, and Butler County is one of only two counties in the nation with a Czech American plurality. As of 2011, 31.0% of Nebraska's population younger than age 1 were minorities. Rural flight, 89% of the cities in Nebraska have fewer than 3,000 people. Nebraska shares this characteristic with five other Midwestern states, Kansas, Oklahoma, North and South Dakota, and Iowa. Hundreds of towns have a population of fewer than 1,000. Regional population declines have forced many rural schools to consolidate. 53 of Nebraska's 93 counties reported declining populations between 1990 and 2000, ranging from a 0.06% loss to a 17.04% loss. More urbanized areas of the state have experienced substantial growth. In 2000, the city of Omaha had a population of 390,007. In 2005, the city's estimated population was 414,521, a 6.3% increase over five years. The 2010 census showed that Omaha has a population of 408,958. The city of Lincoln had a 2000 population of 225,581 and a 2010 population of 258,379, a 14.5% increase. Religion the religious affiliations of the people of Nebraska are, Christian a Euro 90%, Catholic a Euro 28%, Lutheran a Euro 16%, Methodist a Euro 11%, Baptist a Euro 9%, Presbyterian a Euro 4%, other Protestant a Euro 21%, other Christian a Euro 1%, non-religious a Euro 9%, other religions a Euro 1%. The largest single denominations by number of adherents in 2010 were the Roman Catholic Church, the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod, the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America and the United Methodist Church. Important cities and towns, as of the 2010 census, there are 530 cities and villages in the state of Nebraska. There are five classifications of cities and villages in Nebraska, which is based upon population. All population figures are 2013 Census Bureau estimates. Largest cities Metropolitan class city, Omaha Euro 434,353 Primary class city, Lincoln Euro 268,738 First class city Second class cities and villages make up the rest of the communities in Nebraska. There are 116 second-class cities and 382 villages in the state. Urban areas, other areas, Grand Island, Hastings and Kearney comprise the Tri-Cities area, with a combined population of 168,748. The northeast corner of Nebraska is part of the Siouxland region. Taxation, Nebraska has a progressive income tax. The portion of income from $0 to $2,400 is taxed at 2.56%. 2 
from $2,400 to $17,500, at 3.57%. From $17,500 to $27,000, at 5.12%. And income over $27,000, at 6.84%. The standard deduction for a single taxpayer is $5,700. The personal exemption is $118. Nebraska has a state sales and use tax of 5.5%. In addition to the state tax, some Nebraska cities assess a city sales and use tax, in 0.5% increments, up to a maximum of 1.5%. One county in Nebraska, Dakota County, levies an additional 0.5% county sales tax. Food and ingredients that are generally for home preparation and consumption are not taxable. All real property within the state of Nebraska is taxable unless specifically exempted by statute. Since 1992, only depreciable personal property is subject to tax and all other personal property is exempt from tax. Inheritance tax is collected at the county level. Economy the Bureau of Economic Analysis estimates of Nebraska's gross state product in 2010 was $89.8 billion. Per capita personal income in 2004 was $31,339, 25th in the nation. Nebraska has a large agriculture sector, and is an important producer of beef, pork, corn, soybeans, and sorghum. Other important economic sectors include freight transport, manufacturing, telecommunications, information technology, and insurance. As of January 2010, the state's unemployment rate is 4.6%. Industry Kool-Aid was created in 1927 by Edwin Perkins in the city of Hastings, which celebrates the event the second weekend of every August with Kool-Aid Days. Kool-Aid is the official soft drink of Nebraska. Cliff's notes were developed by Clifton Hillegas of Rising City. He adapted his pamphlets from the Canadian publications, Cole's Notes. Omaha is home to Berkshire Hathaway, whose CEO Warren Buffett was ranked in March 2009 by Forbes magazine as the second richest person in the world. The city is also home to Conagra, Mutual of Omaha, Info USA, TD Ameritrade, West Corporation, Varmond Industries, Woodman of the World, Coyote Corporation and the Union Pacific Railroad. UNIFI companies, Nelnet, Sandhills Publishing Company, and Duncan Aviation are based in Lincoln. The Buckle is based in Kearney. Sydney is the national headquarters for cablers, a speciality retailer of outdoor goods. The world's largest train yard, Union Pacific's Bailey Yard, is in North Platte. The vice grip was invented by William Peterson in 1924, and was manufactured in DeWitt until the plant was closed and moved to China in late 2008. Lincoln's Kawasaki Motors Manufacturing is the only Kawasaki plant in the world to produce the jet ski, ATV, and mule lines of product. The facility employs more than 1,200 people. The Spade Ranch, in the Sand Hills, is one of Nebraska's oldest and largest beef cattle operations. Energy Nebraska has the potential to generate 3,011,000 GWh year from 918,000 MW of wind power, and 14,132,000 GWh year from solar power using 4,881,000 MW of photovoltaics, including 4,228 MW of rooftop photovoltaics, and 1,753,000 MW of concentrated solar power. Transportation Railroads. The Union Pacific Railroad, headquartered in Omaha, was incorporated on July 1, 1862, in the wake of the Pacific Railway Act of 1862. Bailey Yard, in North Platte, is the largest railroad classification yard in the world. The route of the original Transcontinental Railroad runs through the state. Other major railroads with operations in the state are Amtrak, BNSF Railway. Canadian Pacific Railway, and Iowa Interstate Railroad. Roads and Highways Interstate highways through the state of Nebraska The U.S. routes in Nebraska. Law and Government Nebraska's government operates under the framework of the Nebraska Constitution, 
adopted in 1875, and is divided into three branches, executive, legislative, and judicial. Executive Branch The head of the executive branch is Governor Dave Heinemann. Other elected officials in the executive branch are Lieutenant Governor Lavin Heidemann, Attorney General John Bruning, Secretary of State John A. Gale, State Treasurer Don Stinberg, and State Auditor Mike Foley. All elected officials in the executive branch serve four-year terms. Legislative Branch Nebraska is the only state in the United States with a unicameral legislature. Although this house is officially known simply as the legislature, and more commonly called the unicameral, its members call themselves senators. Nebraska's legislature is also the only state legislature in the United States that is nonpartisan. The senators are elected with no party affiliation next to their names on the ballot, and the speaker and committee chairs are chosen at large, so that members of any party can be chosen for these positions. The Nebraska legislature can also override a governor's veto with a three fifths majority in contrast to the two-thirds majority required in some other states. The Nebraska Legislature meets in the 3rd Nebraska State Capitol Building, built between 1922 and 1932. It was designed by Bertram G. Goodu. Built from Indiana limestone, the Capitol's base is across within a square of 400-foot dome tower rises from this base. The Sower, a 19-foot bronze statue representing agriculture, crowns the Capitol. The state capitol is considered an architectural achievement and has been recognized by the American Institute of Architects. When Nebraska became a state in 1867, its legislature consisted of two houses, a House of Representatives and a Senate. For years, prior to 1934, U.S. Senator George Norris and other Nebraskans encouraged the idea of a unicameral legislature, and demanded the issue be decided in a referendum. Norris argued. The constitutions of our various states are built upon the idea that there is but one class. If this be true, there is no sense or reason in having the same thing done twice, especially if it is to be done by two bodies of men elected in the same way and having the same jurisdiction. Unicameral supporters also argued that a bicameral legislature had a significant undemocratic feature in the committees that reconciled House and Senate legislation. Votes in these committees were secretive and would sometimes add provisions to bills that neither house had approved. Nebraska's unicameral legislature today has rules that bills can contain only one subject, and must be given at least five days of consideration. In 1934, due in part to the budgetary pressure of the Great Depression, Nebraska citizens ran a state initiative to vote on a constitutional amendment creating a unicameral legislature, which was approved. In effect, the House of Representatives was abolished. Today's Nebraska state legislators are commonly referred to as senators. Judicial Branch The judicial system in Nebraska is unified, with the Nebraska Supreme Court having administrative authority over all Nebraska courts. Nebraska uses the Missouri Plan for the selection of judges at all levels. The lowest courts in Nebraska are the county courts, above that are 12 district courts. The Court of Appeals hears appeals from the district courts, juvenile courts, and workers' compensation courts. The Nebraska Supreme Court is the final court of appeal. In 2008, the Nebraska Supreme Court ruled that the state's only method of execution, electrocution, was in conflict with the state's constitution. For the next year, Nebraska had no active death penalty law. In May 2009, the legislature passed and the governor signed a bill that changed the method of execution in Nebraska to lethal injection, enabling capital punishment. Executions in Nebraska have been infrequent. None have been carried out in the 21st century. During the last few decades, residents have considered a moratorium on, or complete abolition of, capital punishment. Federal Government Representation Nebraska's U.S. Senators are Mike Johans, the senior senator, and Deb Fisher, the junior senator. Nebraska has three representatives in the House of Representatives, Jeff Fortenberry of the 1st District, Lee Terry of the 2nd District, and Adrian Smith of the 3rd District. 
Nebraska is one of two states that allow for a split in the state's allocation of electoral votes in presidential elections. Under a 1991 law, two of Nebraska's five votes are awarded to the winner of the statewide popular vote, while the other three go to the highest vote getter in each of the state's three congressional districts. Politics For most of its history, Nebraska has been a solidly Republican state. Republicans have carried the state in all but one presidential election since 1940, the 1964 landslide election of Lyndon B. Johnson. In the 2004 presidential election, George W. Bush won the state's five electoral votes by a margin of 33 percentage points with 65.9 percent of the overall vote. Only Thurston County, which is majority Native American, voted for his Democratic challenger John Kerry. In 2008, the state split its electoral votes for the first time. Republican John McCain won the popular vote in Nebraska as a whole in two of its three congressional districts. The second district, which includes the city of Omaha, went for Democrat Barack Obama. Despite the current Republican domination of Nebraska politics, the state has a long tradition of electing centrist members of both parties to state and federal office. Examples include George Norris, J. James Exon, and Bob Kerry. Voters have tilted to the right in recent years with the election of conservative Mike Johans to the U.S. Senate and the 2006 re-election of Ben Nelson, who was considered the most conservative Democrat in the Senate until his retirement in 2013, when he was replaced by conservative Republican Deb Fisher. Former President Gerald Ford was born in Nebraska, but moved away shortly after birth. Illinois native William Jennings Bryan represented Nebraska in Congress, served as U.S. Secretary of State under President Woodrow Wilson, and unsuccessfully ran for president three times. Education, Colleges and Universities Sports Professional Sports, Nebraska Stampede, Women's Football Alliance, Lincoln Salt Dogs a Euro-American Association, Nebraska Danger a Euro Indoor Football League, Omaha Beef a Euro Indoor Football League, Omaha Storm Chasers a Euro Pacific Coast League, Omaha Vipers a Euro Major Indoor Soccer League, Junior Level Sports, United States Hockey League, Lincoln Stars, Omaha Lancers, Tri-City Storm, College Sports, NCAA Division I Sports, the following are National Collegiate Athletic Association Division I College Sports played in Nebraska. NCAA Division II Sports, Nebraska has several colleges playing in the NCAA Division II, NAIA Sports, see also. Outline of Nebraska Euro Organized List of Topics about Nebraska, Index of Nebraska-related articles, references. Bibliography, surveys. Scholarly special studies. External links, Nebraska State Government, Nebraska Division of Travel and Tourism, Energy Profile for Nebraska, USGS Real-Time, Geographic, and Other Scientific Resources of Nebraska, Nebraska State Facts, Nebraska Frequently Asked Questions, Nebraska State Publications Online, Nebraska City Data, Nebraska at DMOZ, NebraskaStudies.org A Euro History of Nebraska from Nebraska Department of Education, Nebraska State Historical Society, and NET. Nebraska State Database is a Euro annotated list of searchable databases produced by Nebraska state agencies and compiled by the Government Documents Roundtable of the American Library Association. Geographic data related to Nebraska at OpenStreetMap.